Green and Grief Green Colleague is an initiative of the Youth Disability Resource Centre and essentially what, are, what we're looking for is those young people with disabilities who want to be the very best that they can be and we connect them with people leading in the areas that they aspire towards. And it's for people who hustle for dream. So the most important things that we have at the end of the day is our hustle and our ability to dream. People I admire, so many people have a dream and then throw it in the trash can because they worry about what people may think instead of saying, what can I do? So we're looking for those guys who have a specific idea, those light bulb moments who are like, this is what I want to do. And my question is to them, what's the missing piece of a puzzle? Is it a person? Is it an opportunity? How can we get you to the pinnacle? It's about linking people. My goal as an individual is to know every single person in this world. Okay? <laughs> because imagine the magic that you can create when that all comes together. If we share opportunities and dreams, we can do so much together. And we just want to make it bigger. So this is Jordan, highly motivated, visionary, and passionate young man who came to me <laughs> came to me a year ago for a dream. Jordan. Okay, I apply for moment at a three in the morning and my goal to climb the Auckland Sky Tower. But I can do that. If they can, I will climb the Sky Tower. Okay. So, yeah, so, a year later, I'm about to climb the Auckland Sky Tower next month and then bungee jump off it. <laughs> so we our young guys, they come to the goal and we create a development plan that gets them there. So Jordan's goal was to represent New Zealand in sport. And we went through the whole process of try, try and then succeed. This isn't quite Jordan, but <laughs> <laughs> he did something very similar <laughs> in terms of jumping on the bike. How was that? Uh, I was a bit sore, but yeah, I loved it, eh? but then I found this stuff uh, a lot better and more exciting. And because what we do with our young people is it's about you come in with a goal and a dream, but that journey can change. The thing is that you're passionate to make it change. And so, some of my say, I want to be an all black is my goal too hard. Your goal is only too hard if you're not putting in the hard work to achieve it. If they're achieving it, we want them through a mentor to get to a point where they can then make a decision, an informed decision as to whether they become an all black or through the experience they get introduced to opportunities that encourage them to change. So we do this by running four workshops a year. These workshops aren't specific to the goal, but they encourage, so how do I save money? What is communication? What is drift, drift to success? Jordan also had an other goal. Um, <laughs> okay. um, I would, if, well, I'm from Samuel, so my goal is to raise money to buy like a wheelchair for the sale of people in more so that they can reach their goals in life. But yeah. So on the seven in for at 9 a.m. is the climb, that's right? Yes. And stairs are only made to climb. Yes. So to come back down to right where he says, as John mentioned, he's bungee jumping and he's got this incredible Facebook page where you can be involved. How many Facebook members have you got in the last week? Uh, uh, 180 in a week, so it's going fast. Dream big and achieve more. You come into the goal, you want to be the very best, you achieve more. His goal was to climb a sky tower and for raising the bigger picture is that seeing this as an opportunity to raise awareness 
around disability. To then raise funds to build wheelchairs and try not build them, to buy, buy wheelchairs. And for every wheelchair that he buys, the supplier is giving one to someone, so it's a two for one. He's got bits of papers which have a bank account number where you can deposit it to. <laughs> so now we're looking for people who, we're not here for people who are wanting to find work. We're not want, looking for people gaining independence or development goals. In fact, the only, only goal, I believe, these other organisations do a better job than that than what Carabina can do. However, that is the spin-off to what people have when they come in with a specific goal. They become more confident and they could quite possibly result in a job. And yes, it's free. <laughs> so there's no charge to being a Carabina mentor or mentor. Although, in saying that, we know that time is hugely important. At the end of the day, what Carabino is here to do is to celebrate humanity. And what we can achieve when we all work together. So, that's my dream. This is Jordan's dream. And we hope to see you all there at 9am on the 17th of April. It is uh, my name Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. So, and if you want to be involved in any way, we're looking for sponsorship opportunities. As I said, 2,000 people on Facebook, scrolling by about 100 people a week, and you really want to be part of the journey.